Hi everyone, thank you. Thank you, ADAPT, for the use of the microphone. Hand in Hand is an organization that works really often with ADAPT, so I'm delighted to be here standing side by side today. Really appreciate the sound. I'm from Hand in Hand, and also from Sanctuary Homes, a project of Hand in Hand, and the National Domestic Workers Alliance. As many of you might know, the National Domestic Workers Alliance is one of the many organizations that have been working over time to put these actions together today, along with ACLU, Ultraviolet, We Belong Together, and a host of other groups. I'm also here as a neighbor, a daughter, a spouse, an aunt, and a mother to join the rising chorus of voices and insist that families belong together. Many Terrible things are happening at the border. And people from a raft of organizations, including the ACLU and HIAS, have been working overtime to provide urgently needed legal remedy. At Sanctuary Homes, we believe that everyone is welcome here and that no matter what and no matter where they come from or what their circumstances, children should always, always be kept with their families. The last several weeks have been marked by a torrent of horrifying stories from the border. So many that at times it's confusing to know where to look, and so gut-wrenching that I have found even myself wanting to turn away. But I won't do it. I will not turn away, and I know that you won't either. I'll stare this down, I'll call on ICE, Border Patrol, the White House, the Department of Justice, and all agencies currently separating children to stop Stop separating families, stop it now, and keep families together. Keeping families together! Keep families together! Keep families together! Keep families together! Thank you so much. I invite you to continue the fight. Continue your work with ACLU, with Power, with Ultraviolet, with the National Domestic Workers Alliance, with We Belong Together, with Sanctuary Homes, or with whoever else you are working with and organize from your, from your country, from your state, from your city, from your community, from your neighborhood, and from your home. We will keep fighting until all families have all of the protections that they need and deserve. I'm finding so, finding so many different mentalities different mentality today. It seems, it seems hard. hard. It seems it challenging. Seems challenging. I don't say it's hard because the only thing hard, hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a else challenge. Is a challenge. Um, um, so, 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 I'm ready for, I'm this, ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think we, that all we all have a purpose in life. In life. And mine's going to take on a task that most that most uh, back away back from. Away that, from. Impossible. that impossible, so people say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see anything, I don't see anything as impossible. being impossible. Mentality, mentality, there are there are different mentalities, but just like just there's like different there's different ways to teach people how to read. There's, there's different ways to communicate people. There's different ways, there's different ways to communicate people, and there's different mentalities. So I do so I do see hope.